Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron. Well, if you're new, welcome, and if you're one of my many returning members, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash that subscribe button. It definitely helps uh, me and my other members know when I'm posting videos. And it also helps uh, YouTube know when I'm, you know, for the alpha rhythm, I guess that's what they call it. And for the watch hours and for the subscribe count that I uh, need to get so I can get my channel monetized. And as always, before we get started, I'm not a medical doctor. I don't make any medical claims. This is all based on my own personal journey, so please do your homework first. <laughs> wow, has this been a trying week, uh, to say the least? Uh, week 161, well, we didn't lose any weight. We, I believe we gained about three or four pounds, which was expected because of the fact that we had a very, very uh, difficult week this past week, as most of you know, in our area, Lemister, Massachusetts. We were in a state of emergency for three days. We had 9.1 inches of rain. We lost all our belongings in the basement along with everybody else. And there was 42 units that were affected. Uh, there was 40 cars that were destroyed in the flood. My car in the entire parking lot was completely submerged in the water for a period of time before the water started to uh, recede. And the funny thing about it is, uh, had I just parked my car across the street, I probably would still be driving my car. But, uh, Things happen the way they happen. Now, I did have compulsive insurance on my car, and they had an outstanding balance of 2800 and I thought maybe that uh, it was actually 2850 and uh, I thought they were going to lowball me on the insurance, you know, because that's insurance companies, they usually they don't like to pay you much more than they really need to. But then she uh, she ran the uh, VIN number, and she ran the uh, mileage on my car, and she said, you know, your car, we're going to give you some uh, pretty close to 16000 so with a $2,800 balance, it's going to leave me a significant amount of cash to get another car. So what I'm planning on doing, I'm planning on paying off all my bills, the credit cards, the medical bills, everything, and that'll leave about eight grand left, and that should be enough for us to buy a car and put a little bit of money in the bank. And we have money in the bank anyways, guys, and we got money, you know, in a, at home and, you know, put away in different areas, you know, in, within the house and in safety deposit box I have in the house. Not much, but, you know, enough enough for about a three or four month supply of loose cash if you need it. And, you know, if, if you're not in that situation, I would strongly suggest trying to get yourself into that situation because you never know when you're going to need an emergency. What if the emergency broadcasting system or EBS goes off and you can't access anything and they shut down the Internet? 90% of the stuff now is based on Internet. So, so you really need to have a good uh, source of supply on hand because if you got uh, the uh, EBT cards there for food stamps or whatever, you're not going to be able to get that, you know. So, and that was a perfect example. About two or three months ago, there's uh, where everybody was going in the market basket, and somebody hacked into the computer system and shut it all down, and nobody could access their uh, AB, the uh, debit cards, credit cards, or anything. So you had to pay cash that day. And uh, so when you're just getting your check, or your social security check, your retirement checks, like we daughter and I fall in that category, you're not going to get your money. So so just be aware of that, guys. You know you know what I mean? If it, you know, try to get yourself in a situation. And we, you know, we recently bought a freezer. We got enough meat in the freezer now. It lasts us about a month and a half. Definitely going to be getting more meats this month. And just I'm going to just keep loading it up, loading it up, and loading it up because... Uh, you never know, but as long as we don't lose the power, and if we lose the power, I'll give it to my neighbors if, uh, you know, the meat goes bad. But the meat would typically stay in the freezer a couple of days as long as you don't open up the freezer, and you should be good to go. And then it'll just refreeze, but if it, you know, goes too long, obviously the meat would spoil. And, uh, yeah, so I, I've been so blessed, and don't know how long that was going on. Donna, my wife, oh God, I feel so bad for her. She, she you know, she wanted to be in the hospital for three days, not going to do it to flood, but it was just a... Uh, you know, adjusting her medication and causing her to dehydrate until they get the right medication down right, because the doctor was playing around with the medication. So she's fine, you know. But you know, when I dropped her off Monday, I was in a hospital with her for almost eight hours before they let me go home. And before I, you know, when she, when she uh, was admitted and she was in the ER with me, and you know, she was on the, you know the IV and all that stuff there. And uh, she told me I could go home, and that was at five o'clock. And no sooner I left to get the car home, and that's when the deluge started. And uh, yeah, and then the power went out at the hospital. They had more than more people there. They, uh, yeah, the power finally went back on at the hospital where the generators kicked in after about 20 minutes. And somebody had to go down to the basement and uh, reset it and hope one of the limits to high rises, they got about maybe 100 uh, senior citizens over there in the, you know, the tower over there in the uh, 
the electrical system got short, shorted out, so that whole system has to get replaced now. It could thousands and thousands of dollars worth of damage, and a lot of those people are living in hotels and with family, and a lot of them have pets, you know, I feel so bad for the people. Well, we were affected, but not nearly as that bad. And then I called up uh, Mayfair Insurance Company there, and they got uh, apartment insurance for, you know, for fire and whatever, but they won't cover flood. So, you know what, guys? You don't want to cover the floods? You guess what? We'll be, we'll be getting another insurance company, and the next time we get an insurance company, I want it in writing exactly what you're going to be covering. Otherwise, I'll find somebody else that does. This is a one in 100 year lifetime event that happened. Unfortunately, we made the national news, but for the wrong reasons. And their main concern in the area was that the uh, Barrett Park, which where I go walking a lot there and I'm fishing there all summer long, they were mainly concerned about that that dam was going to break. And if that dam would have broken, it'd be a waterway. Now, I live on the fourth, up on the fourth floor. This would give you an idea on how high this place is. The water would have gotten to at least the second floor, and then I would have probably had to have been airlifted out of here on the roof, or they would have been uh, you know, a ladder up to the window, assuming they could have done that. Most likely, it would have been airlifting off, off of the roof. But uh, I, I'm so blessed that none of us lost their lives, and, and uh, yeah, it's been it's, it's been a hell of an experience. And then on the school front, there I started school, as most of you know, and I had to put that on hold. And I said, can I resume it in the spring? And she said, yeah, there'll be no problem. Just before the end of the uh, October there, I gotta, you know, I gotta submit my uh, application in for the uh, semester. I'm gonna continue with the video and, and that, and I'm gonna take two online classes for the spring, and then we'll continue it in, 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 on the back end of the class that I was supposed to take. But it's been terrible, and I got no car, so I'm waiting to get a check from the insurance company. As soon as I get a check from the insurance company, I'm paying off all my bills, and then we're gonna go car shopping. Now, you've got a couple of manufacturers out there on strike right now, so it's gonna be difficult to find a car, but I saw a couple of places that look pretty promising for what I can afford, and uh, you know, hopefully they'll work with us, and if, you know, if they don't, then I'll, I don't know. But it's in God's hands, and I'm not gonna worry about it. You know, it is what it is. And uh, you know, I guess in some other great news today, I go walking this morning, and I was talking to the guy that was working in the elevator yesterday. He said that hopefully by the end of yesterday, he said that we'll have the elevator working for you guys, and uh, what happened was the elevator, the wiring on each side of the elevator was all completely burnt out, so they ended up replacing all the wiring yesterday. They were here a good 12 hours yesterday. They got, they got done late last night. So this morning, just for giggles, I only went downstairs, I walked down, I saw the G on for the ground level for the elevator, and I opened it up, and I hit every one of the buttons to see, make sure they're all stopped where they're supposed to be on each floor, and then I went back to the bottom floor, and then I knew the elevator was working. Now the office officially haven't gotten hold of us to let us know it was working. But um, and I told my neighbor Evelyn, she's in my hub around, she's got a really bad back with her dog Benji, and uh, she was able to, she says, oh Ron, thank you, I didn't know that was working, yeah, you know, you're not going to probably know nothing on the weekend anyways, you know, so, but, uh, you know, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's working now, people, you know, someone getting their lives back to normal, well, next week they should be down with a couple of truckloads of dumpsters so we can get rid of all the shit in the cell in there, and, uh, I don't know, I, I, this musty smell down there is terrible and it's, it's really bad. I mean, it's, it's even affecting me when I'm walking down that area. So, I, I, you know, it's, it's all waterlogged down there. Everything's, it's a complete loss. I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to recover any money damage from that. Like again, the flood won't cover it. So what am I supposed to do? There's a lot of homeowners that, I, I don't know, there's quite a number of homes that got destroyed in this flood damage. We got, Phoenix already came in there and assessed the damage, and eventually they'll get they'll get something from the feds. But how do you how do you uh, tell FEMA that you lost all your valuables in your basement? Uh, estimated damage maybe four or five thousand dollars. Are they going to give me that? Probably not. And, you know, I, and I asked my friend Doobie, works for the IRS. I can't write any of that stuff off for the uh, you know for the taxes and. Uh, so in the money that they give me for my car replacement, that's non-taxable. They can't tax that. That doesn't go against your income because that was, an, that was again, that was a once in a 100 year event that happened for our city. Unfortunately, like I said, we made the news for the wrong reason. We're known as Johnny Appleseed. I, mean, I think most of you know, heard, might have heard of Johnny Appleseed, planted apples, whatever. But every September, we have a huge Johnny Appleseed event. Next year is the 250th anniversary of Johnny Appleseed. And they're going to have a huge long year celebration. And, uh, you know, you, you get that apple crisp, you know, with the uh, vanilla ice cream. I, mean, I usually get one or two of those, you know, and I, and I don't have an issue with that. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm, that's what we got going on there. And, uh, you know, it's been a trying, trying, uh, hectic week. 
daughter's fine, I'm fine, and the cat's fine. We don't need any money, up, guys, so please don't do anything but that. And, uh, you know, we lost all our, our winter clothes, and you gotta, so I got to go and buy a whole new, you know, jacket and all that, and which is no big deal, you know, you know. And then my Charlie Brown shirt there that I used to always put on to show how big I was there. I'm not going to be able to use that anymore because that was downstairs in the basement. And uh, which is fine. I'm just going to go out and get a 5X shirt, one I don't care about, just to show you the difference that what I used to fit into. And that'll be a pretty good demonstration. You know, but, uh, yeah, so that's what I got going on. And then after we get everything paid and they get situated on the... Uh, car, you know, then of course all the credit cards will be back to zero again there. Well, we only owe two credit cards and uh, I'm going to, you know, get a computer and I'll pay cash for it and I'll be uh, because all my money will be my eyes other than a new car payment. And then if, then if I elect to get a new car, sometimes they might not push, give me, you know, you know they, they'll go two or three months before making a payment. Maybe let me stop making my payments in January where we're already, uh, to, you know, almost into October. You know, or they'll, you know, so that'll, that'll be pretty good. But uh, the car that I'm going to get is going to have to have a camera for one. So when I'm backing up, I can actually see where I'm looking and instead of trying to just, you know, take a guesswork out of where my lines lined up and stuff like that. And also, and, and I, get, I don't want to throw everybody out whacking the car and it gets back wall. And I want to get a remote starter or anybody in the car because, uh, you know, I'm tired of scraping and going out warming up the car and sitting there for 20 minutes when I could just be warming it up in the house when I'm ready to leave. And by the time we get down to the elevator in the lower basement area, the car's already uh, taken care of. And uh, so that's what's going on with school. The, on the bingo front there, the, the, we went to bingo Friday night. Uh, my sister, she's been really sweetheart. She's been bringing Donna and I around all over the place where we, wherever we need to go, which she can, you know. And then I got a ride home Friday night from my friend Alden and Donna's friend Jackie said she'd take us right home if she, you know, if we need a ride. So I might ask her next week if I don't have a car, you know. So, but again, uh, Donna's got a couple, we got a couple appointments coming up Wednesday. I got to cancel out one of my appointments there because I don't got a car and I can't cut it that close with a ride in the car because I don't, Donna's got an appointment in the morning. I don't know how long that appointment's going to last. So I'm just going to keep that her, her appointment and I'll reschedule mine for a later date. And, uh, so I'm hoping to get back to school later on in the uh, spring, and I've been putting up really some great recipes, guys. And I wanted to thank you guys last night there, well, Saturday night. I Saturday, Friday, I finally reached a thousand subscribers. Now YouTube hasn't released anything over to me yet as far as setting it all up so I can put a little sticker on the bottom of the thing with a money doll sign and all that. But one of my friends told me, Ron, it might take a couple of weeks, but in the meantime, I'm gonna keep running my playlist in, uh, 24 seven. So if you wanna help uh, help me out and you, and you know how to run a playlist, could you just leave it running in the playlist? And you, could, you could kill the uh, my voice, but it, 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 it just helps me out so that I can build up some of my watch hours. And uh, you know, I'm gonna continue putting recipes up. Uh, I would like to do some live videos. I'm thinking about maybe Monday if it's I never really care about the noise anymore. If it, you know, my wife lives in the back room over there. She comes in and out of the living room. I got the cat on my feet all the time because he's always up. He's, you know, a cat. He's just curious. So, um, you know, but I'm thinking about making some drumsticks in the air fryer and show you how I make them for a little cop keto. We do one version in the air fryer, one version in the oven, and we're going to talk about it over the timeline. And, uh, yeah, and if you, you know, we'll do like a comparison to see which one works out better and stuff like that. And uh, then I'll probably have one one set in the air fryer already done, so I can show you what it looks like and see if we can duplicate that same uh, texture with that. And uh, kind of like how they do it on TV when they finally figured it out. So I got, I got a nice tripod I bought just recently that when uh, we opened up an account at Best Buy's and then what I'll do is, uh, you know, film it out with the tall tripod and I'll have my little uh, iPad going in the uh, side there so I can watch the chat while we're talking live and stuff like that. I've been watching Anne Marie see how she films in that and she's using a laptop computer. She she uses the overhead camera for the uh, background. And I haven't got a laptop computer yet and that's why I wanted to get a laptop computer there. And it, it, it'll happen, but I'm just I'm, I'm like everybody else right now, I'm being patient. The other thing I want to get is I want to get a new monitor for the computer. I want to get a nice 32 inch monitor. that will be a little bigger size. I think I got a 27 inch right now. And uh, I'm definitely gonna get one a, a bigger monitor. And I want to make sure it's got a camera built into it because I, I use my mobile camera a lot for my video when I'm talking like like right now. And when I went live last night, I had a camera that I hooked up to my uh, computer on a USB uh, thing. So that would be definitely a plus for me to get a, a nice monitor. I've been pricing them out at about, my budget is about 400 for that. 
and I can get something at Best Buy for what I'm the, the range the range that I'm looking for, and uh, yeah. So it's been a really hectic trying a week. Now I just like I said, it's time to move on, forget about it, put everything in the back burner, and uh, you know, like I said, getting to the weight loss front there, we didn't uh, lose any weight. But yeah, we probably gained about four or five pounds, but. Uh, you know, it is what it is, guys, and I want to do some updates and some, some motivational videos for you this, for this coming and be watching with some of those. Uh, since we had a really difficult week, you know, I had to go off plan because we were worried about the, you know, electricity and all that stuff there. And uh, so I had foods that I weren't supposed to eat, which, which you know, it happens. It's like that. You don't gloat over it. You just go on to the next day and start all over again, guys. It's pretty much that simple, okay? And uh, for all you guys and gals that were offering me rides and supported but Donna and I, thank you so much for uh, reaching out to me and Donna because it's insane you have any prayers for us to, to uh, get through this. And uh, we did get through it. Uh, many of our roads and streets are still unpassable, but uh, you know, there's, and I don't, and there was one street over there that they, they, uh, they don't know how long it's gonna be before they can even use the street. So what they did was that, that some guy's house did, they ended up cutting through his backyard and they opened up the street and made, and made a uh, temporary street through his backyard, can you imagine? So that, that's how serious it is. And then of course all the news agencies were down here, CNN, Fox, uh, all the local news agencies, they were, they were here pretty much for two or three days and they still come into the city just to, you know, do the, uh, you know, the follow up there. And then of course yesterday we had a hurricane that moved into the area. We didn't get affected. We just got a little bit of wind yesterday, but over there in the outer Cape area, the Martha Vineyards and uh, Cape Cod and that area, if you're familiar with that area, there were some tornadoes that touched down yesterday and some trees got uprooted. And one, one guy up in Maine, I thought, I thought he saw so he a car crushed on, crushed him and killed him. And uh, yeah, it's terrible when that happens. That's why they tell you not to go out in these storms, you know? So you gotta really heed these warnings, you know. You know, again, when that emergency broadcast system gets activated, they tell you to stay home, you stay home, you know. That's why they developed that system, not just for any, you know, war or anything like that, but just for emergency, like weather and stuff like that, you know. And, and constantly, when, when we get reports, I, I listen to what they say, and I, I, I put the news on all day, like today, they got the TV shut down, gonna be watching the games afternoon, it's just relaxing. Uh, thinking about making some of those dinner rolls there. I got a recipe that I posted that I made it some uh, holiday dinner rolls a while back ago. I wanted to see if I can duplicate that order again. And I'm gonna try to make an order on Walmart's website since I got no car right now, see if they'll deliver it and the elevator's working so I can just go downstairs and load up my carriage and just bring it upstairs. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, again, you know, we didn't gain. We, we did gain a little bit, about four or five pounds and it's not a big deal, I'm not gonna cry about it. And you know, I don't shake record anything on the uh, on my channel, but I just wanted to say thank you for all the new guys and gals that came along with my journey and uh, for supporting me and my channel. And uh, you know, at some point, you know, when I can have a monetization on my channel, there I'm gonna I'm gonna have a giveaway. But you know, and I'll I'll make a uh, I'll, I'm gonna put it on a tagline because I don't want you know uh, bots coming into my uh, my thing there, but. You know, you have to be here presently while I'm doing a live, and then I'm gonna write down some sticky notes on them, and I'll pick one, a couple of names out of the thing, and it'll probably be like Amazon gift cards or something like that. But uh, yeah, so again, thank you so much for joining my channel, and it means a lot to me that you've subscribed, and I finally hit a thousand subscribers, and uh, be watching for some future updates, continue be watching for some of the recipes. I'm trying to post, I'm trying to post at least one or two recipes every day, and uh, the premiere is usually, when I post the premiere, it's usually, I'm gonna try to keep it around 10 minutes, maybe 12 minutes. And uh, I, I'm watching the live chat and I can chat over the, the live chat. And uh, so that's about all we got to say this week. But I, you know, if there's anything more that I forgot to say, I'll be posting it in future updates and be watching for those. So w without further ado, I guess it's time to say goodbye and have a great day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for joining my channel. And thank you for watching. Have a great day, guys.